Blessings to you, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to prophesy and seek the Lord for his heart and what he has for you today, what he wants to speak on today. So I'm asking the Lord Jesus right now that he'll use me as his servant to be his voice and speak and let you know his heart and what he has for you, what he wants to speak on. I thank you, Jesus, for your mighty love. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that you want a relationship with us and that you're always speaking. You desire, you desire for us to hear your voice and follow it. So here we are, God, hearing your voice and following it. What I'm seeing, friends, is a flower, beautiful yellow flowers, just very small, out of a bush. So a big old bush sticks out one little yellow flower. What I'm feeling God is saying is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the looks of everything of your past. It doesn't matter the looks of where you came from. It doesn't matter the looks of the neighborhood that you grew up in. It doesn't matter all those things doesn't matter how poor you were. It doesn't matter the education that you didn't get. It doesn't matter the lack that you lived in. It doesn't matter the abuse that you were in. It doesn't matter the unloving or unsupportive neighborhood, friendship, family that you came from. It doesn't matter your DNA. It doesn't matter all of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make who you are. Because it is God that says who you are. So there it is. You are the bright yellow flower that comes out of this just normal bush. It doesn't even look right. It doesn't even look like you should be coming out of this bush. But there it is. You. This yellow bright flower. Greeting everybody full of joy. People are surrounding you with curiosity, wondering how, how is this yellow flower came out of this bush? Nobody would have expected it, you to come out of this bush. Nobody expected it, you to be full of joy. Nobody expected you to be of life. Nobody expected you to present the way you are, to have what you have, to know what you know, to be as far as you've been. But they don't know that it's the Lord Jesus Christ that has ordained your step, that has created you. Ooh, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That regardless of the past, regardless of where we came from, you, you can change it all. You can change it all, God. You help us through it all. Our past does not determine of who we are. Our past does not determine of where we go because Jesus Christ determines that. Jesus, Jesus has created you. This beautiful yellow flower all by itself from this bush, this entanglement of crazy stuff that you've been through. And he created you out of that. That is where you're going. That is who you are. Thank you, Jesus, that we can embrace who you created us to be and who you made us to be and who you've ordained us to be. Thank you, Jesus, that out of all that messiness, you can create me. You, he can create you. He can create you. He can create me. He can create us so beautifully people stand in all of you people are standing in all and wonder wonder how this miracle can happen how this can be you should have been dead by now but you're not you should have been paralyzed by now but you're not you should have been a drunk by now but you're not you should have been homeless by now but you're not you should have been all these things but you're not because God has carried you through. God will make something out of nothing. God use the weak. God, <laughs> God will use you to profound 
the wise. God will make you. When somebody looks at you, be in awe. Be in awe of the God we serve. So I thank you, Jesus, that today, today, you reveal that to your people. That you reveal that. How beautifully and wonderfully and fearfully somebody is made right now in the name of Jesus. Your past, whatever you've been intertwined with, does not define you. Does not define you. But the Lord, the Lord has called you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.